it's a gorgeous day. I'm working four till midnight every day this week, which means I've got my daytimes free, which is absolutely amazing. Right now I'm off to the chiropractor. That was amazing. My back feels so much better. I always worry that I look like an absolute lunatic walking along and talking to myself when I'm vlogging. T minus four and a half hours till I start work. And this weekend I have eaten absolute rubbish. I mean, it's been delicious rubbish, but it's been pizza, millionaire's shortbread, bacon and egg sandwich on white bread. And now I'm thinking I need to up my healthy food game. I am going to go and have a look through my recipe books and plan some delicious healthy meals for the week. It is done and I've got to have the creepy walk through the hospital. Ooh, it's really dark. It's really weird because it's normally really busy down here. So it feels a bit strange. It's like being at your school when there's no one around. Okay, this is properly creepy. Look at the corridor I have to walk down now. So I've done four out of my five shifts. I'm absolutely loving doing twilight shifts. I'm on four till midnight. It's actually been more like four till about 1 a.m. But I'm really, really enjoying having my daytimes free. Like I said at the start of the week, I've been trying to eat more healthily and I've got time to go to the gym when it's absolutely empty, which is dreamy. So these shifts are called on calls. You've probably heard doctors talking about being on call before. This version of an on call shift means that I'm working in the medical emergency admissions unit, um, which is kind of where patients go from A&E before they get allocated to a ward. So it's kind of like an extension of A&E. It's really, really busy and really full on. There's always stuff to do. There's always new patients coming in. There's always patients being discharged. And because it's a medical emergencies, there's often very, very sick patients who require quite a lot of medical input. You never really know what you're going to walk into when you go onto a shift on MEAU. So the 4 till 12 shift is lovely because you're kind of straddling the, the end of the day shift, which finishes at 9, and the start of the night shift, which starts at 9. So I'm kind of there to mop up any jobs that need doing and just clerk new patients, clerk, clerk, clerk. Clerking new patients basically means you see them when they come in, you try and go through their medical history as best you can, write up a drug chart for them so we can get them the medications that they need, then go and take a history from the patient or their family members if they've got any with them, examine the patient, try and come up with a diagnosis, and then you find a senior member of staff, so a consultant or a registrar, and tell them what you think is going on, tell them your basic plan, and then the consultant or the registrar sees them too and comes up with a definitive plan. I'm finding that one of the things I'm struggling with is I'm really slow. I think I'm quite slow at writing. I worry that I'm gonna miss something and I'm trying to be really thorough. They say that clerking a patient should take an hour, but I'm more taking an hour and a half. I'm really trying my best to speed up this week, but I'm just thinking that I'd rather be thorough and slow than be quick and miss something. So I'm just trying to speed up, but also get it right. So some examples of the patients that I've been clerking. I've seen a gentleman who's been in acute heart failure, so his heart's not pumping effectively, and he had huge fluid overload in his legs and his lungs, so he needed diuretics to get rid of some of the fluid in his body immediately. Also seen someone who had an abnormal heart rhythm, so they needed the medication to slow down their heart and bring it back into a normal rhythm. I saw a lady who had a collapse at home and we were trying to work out the cause of why she fell. I saw someone who had sadly pancreatic cancer um, and he needed some pain relief and something to stop him vomiting and he was really dehydrated because of that. As you can see it's really varied it's really full on. We've been a member of staff down, so I've actually been having to stay a little bit late just to kind of mop up a few of the jobs. But it's good atmosphere when everything's running correctly. The nurses, the doctors, the whole team just really pull together to get the best for the patients. And I really like working in that environment. It can be high stress, but one of the things I really love is when you get those moments of humanity, patients coming and thanking you or family members. Yesterday, one of the nurses actually brought me in a recipe that she'd printed out for me because we'd been talking about slow cooker meals and that we don't get the chance to cook very nice meals while we're working so many shifts. And she printed out her favorite slow cooker stew recipe. So thank you, Sue, if you ever watch this video. I have to go to work now. 
I will be finishing at midnight tonight. I'm going to stay in the hospital accommodation for the night. I've just finished work and I'm about to drive home for the weekend. So I'm pretty tired now. The week has wiped me out. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what it's like working on call for a week. And I will see you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye guys.